Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use the Bissell Pro Heat 2X Pet. I've had this thing for about eight months. Amazing machine, cost me about $250. And I use this mainly to clean my big area rug upstairs where my dog, he's about 85 pounds, tracks in a lot of dirt and my white rug kind of becomes brown over time. This thing does a great job at getting it white again. As well as downstairs, I have carpet in my downstairs and this thing just cleans it up really, really well. But it didn't really come with any thorough and Instructions, and I'm going to show you a little hack that I add to the actual solution that makes it even work even better So let's jump right into it. All right, here's my area rug I'm going to be cleaning and as you can see it looks a little white, but it's actually the white is pretty brown It used to be very vibrant brilliant white as well as I have some stains one there and Then one there as you can see but this thing just used to be radiant white and him just walking on it over time has turned it into not so much of a white rug. So let's see how the ProHeat 2X Pet Pro does. Oh, and speaking of, there's my 85 pounder right there. He's a little camera shy. So you basically want to decide, are you going to be doing the express clean where you just fill up the water about a quarter of the way or maybe a third, then add a little bit of formula, or are you going to be doing the max deep clean where you fill up the water right to about here and then add this much formula. This is what I usually do because I only do this about once every six months, but I don't want to keep adding water if I run out. If you only have a few minutes, you might want to do the express clean, but I usually make at least an hour to do this whole process, so I fill it up right to about here and add this much formula, so let's do it. Okay, we are at my sinks. You're going to want to take your jug, unscrew the yellow lid, and then run your hot water, as hot as it can go, and fill it up to the water line. Again, we're going to be doing the max deep clean, so the water line is right about there. All right, as you can see, the water line is right about at the water line. All right, next you're going to take the measuring cup that's included with the kit. As you can see, there is a 25 ounce line there. And then it also comes with these, you know, the oxyurine eliminator or the pet stain and odor antibacterial. Now, I'm not going to be using this one because he hasn't urinated, so it doesn't really have any urine odor. I'm just going to be using 25 ounces of this one. Some people use a mix, you know, 12 and a half of this, 12 and a half ounces of this to fill it up, or you can just use one. So again, I'm just going to be doing the pet stain and odor antibacterial. All right, measure out about 25 ounces, right about there, and add her on in. Now one thing I've been doing for a long time is actually adding a little bit of OxyClean to the mixture. This is the Tough Odor Odor Blaster Edition, but you can really use any OxyClean. It just, I love the smell of this stuff and it really does a great job at making my carpet white again, as you will see. Now again, I don't add a whole lot, maybe an eighth of a cup, maybe right about, eh. Let's say right about there. Not a whole lot. Again, add it to the mixture. All right, now don't forget to replace the cap. Make sure it's screwed down completely. All right, and then add it to the top of the machine. Again, you're just gonna wanna make sure the grooves line up until it sits in position. All right, and then plug her on in. Now on the side of the machine, they have a selection here. Express clean, deep clean, max clean. Again, if you're just doing the express clean, you're gonna to wanna to move that down. But since I'm doing the max clean, and it's the, you know, the gallon thing's filled all the way up, you wanna make sure this is set to the right setting. Okay, and on the right wheel is what we have, the clean shot. When this is showing red, it's turned off. When you push it with your foot, it turns green. It means it's on and it'll start spraying. Now clean shot shoots the solution out of that little nozzle right here. So if you have like, you know, an actual stain that you can see, I'm gonna be using the clean shot on that just to cover the entire stain with the solution and then go over it as you will see. And then the last two controls you kinda only really need to know is the handle little trigger underneath here to release the formula and spray it out from the front of the machine, as well as the power button here, the red button on the left-hand side. So you're not probably gonna be able to hear me too well uh, on the camera when I have this thing turned on, but I'm pretty much gonna spray using this thing and then go over a few times, a couple passes with the actual rollers and start cleaning this carpet up, or this rug, I should say. Okay, I'm going to recline the machine by putting my foot on this latch so it drops back a little bit, turn on the machine, and then start soaking the area with the power shot, or the clean shot. Now I'm gonna use this spray trigger. What you wanna do is hold this down, do one slow pass forward, and then one slow pass backwards while still holding the trigger, then release the trigger, and then go back forward slowly over it again, and then backwards one more time. That's all there is to it. So about four passes, two with holding the trigger down and two with off. All right. 
right, you can already notice a difference. Look at the line right there. This is how it was, this is how it is now, and it actually smells really good. Now one thing you wanna make sure of, see how much dirt it's already lifting. When this bottom tank gets to the full line right there, you're gonna to wanna to empty it. So I usually have to empty this thing about four or five times. All right, I wanted to mention, when this thing becomes full, it'll automatically sense it and actually turn off the rollers. So if you see the rollers stop, it's because you have a full bottom tank. All you have to do is pull down on this latch and remove the waste. And you pull open this little rubber latch to empty it. Once it's empty, we just replace it like so till it clicks. All right, everyone, here is the finished product. It took me about 35 minutes and about five tankfuls, but it's back to brilliant white. It looks a little dark over there. It's just because I got some shadows coming in, but it is back to its original white self. Now I'm gonna show you how it works with the hose attachment. I don't use it a whole lot, but it does come in conveniently sometimes. All right, you wanna take the end of the hose attachment with the little red thing here, lift up on this flap, and line up the red little garment or gasket till it clicks into place. All right, so this guy works pretty much the same way as using your foot. This is the filter that fills up dirty. When it's full, the machine will change, and you can see it's locked into position. All you have to do is turn it counterclockwise, pull it out, empty it out, put it back in, lock it into place. There's also a trigger here, just like on the handle on the upright. You're gonna to wanna to pull this down to release the, the cleaner. Um, now up top here, they actually have a lock, so it will not dispense the solution unless you're in the wet position. Then you use the trigger, do two passes slowly, holding down the trigger, then switch this to dry, and do two passes dry. So here we go. All right, I got my dog's bed here, just for demonstrational purposes. I sometimes throw this cover in a wash, it just doesn't really get it white. This thing really does work well for it. So here we go. All right, look at that. It is just back to white. My dog's bed is pretty dirty. I have to clean this thing quite frequently, but this thing does a great job. All right, got it done. At least the inside. Next, I'm gonna go around the perimeter. But as you can see, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison Good looking. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video on how I use the Bissell Pro Heat 2X Pet Pro. This thing is amazing. It's about $250, $300. Probably doesn't work as well as, you know, like a thousand or a $1,500 so, you know, steam cleaner, but this thing works great for my needs. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link below if you wish to purchase it on Amazon. It's the cheapest place I've found it. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video.